Hi Adoration Church, this is Michael Roroff and I'm the worship leader uh, here at the church. Uh, we are excited to announce that we are moving the furnace, which is our prayer and worship time, uh, harp and bowl style. We're moving it from Monday nights to Wednesday nights. And the purpose for this is that we are realizing that there are families that are coming that have children and we want to be able to um, join it together with the youth and kids night that we have on Wednesday night. So starting at 5 o'clock, uh, we'll be starting the prayer night and it'll go till 545, ending just before the kids ministry time starts at uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, this is a time that is not only for adults, but we want the children to be involved and really to be able to catch and relate to what God is doing in our church and in our community. And, and as he does this, we want it to transform not only us, and so we're involving the kids so that it transforms them as well, and it transforms our families, and it transforms our region. Um, the Furnace at Adoration Church is a time for the church to come together, and it is a time to draw near to God to seek first his kingdom and to be a kingdom of priests before the Lord. And it's a place for all to come and grow in the things of the Lord. And I love that the kids and the youth are involved when they pray or they sing to the Lord. It is an absolutely beautiful thing. And anything that you start with and anything that you grow into, it has growing pains. Um, but I really believe that God loves to see the heart be, uh, before him. Uh, and it, I kind of like to think about it like this, like when you start painting, you start with stick figures, and then you just kind of like grow into making uh, better objects and being able to do more complex things as you as you improve. And so this is the same. Like when we start, um, sometimes our prayers may feel like just they're like stick figures, um, and then it's really always oh, God really listening. But the thing is, is God appreciates the journey and he loves the growth that can happen. And so as we have done at the furnace, I've really seen the growth in the kids and the adults. And what is beautiful is they're developing their own burning heart. They're developing their own language to the Lord and they are taking ownership. And that's what we want to see, a generation who's seeking God's approval, seeking his heart and living for the world or living in the world, but not being of it. So we don't want to miss an opportunity to sit at his feet like Mary did, we, uh, to be in his presence and see Jesus revealed like Simeon and Anna, and to turn around and we want to always have a heart that says thank you to the Lord like the leper did. Um, we're not pursuing a thing. We're not pursuing a movement. We are encountering the living God. We're leaning into his heart. We're leaning and learning from the Holy Spirit, who is our counselor, our helper. He is our everything. And in my own life, I've seen prayers answered. And sometimes the prayers are quick. They're instantaneous. Other times, I have to wait on the Lord. And in some instances, I'm, I'm still waiting for an answer from the Lord. But what I have found is that he is faithful. I have found that he is true. I'm finding that he wants to be sought out. He is wanting praise and ultimately all the glory. And I know I can trust him. And he is, he is wanting us all to be in that place of trust with him. And as this church is growing and as we're going through the faith series and as it's permeating throughout all of uh, like our messages and our programming and just everything, I believe that the more we pray, the more our eyes will be opened and a deeper, we'll have a deeper faith because of that. And I want everybody to have this faith. I want everybody to have this trust in the Lord. And this is found in the journey. And I can give you my testimony but I cannot give you my relationship. And we must first start by each of us cultivating a relationship with God in our own hearts and minds. And I'm not even talking about the furnace. I'm not talking about coming to church. I'm talking about in your home, in your secret place, where we find him. When we seek him, when we knock, he answers the door and he, he, we are found by him. Then in our homes, um, not just in our own lives, in our personal lives, and not include, you know, we develop this in our homes, and then as we develop it in our homes, it grows and grows into our church and into our culture, into our region, into the whole world. And that is what we are going after. We need to think bigger than the church building. So we need to start smaller and then think bigger. Finally, it is good when we come together to praise and to intercede together. There is power in the church coming together. The furnace is an opportunity for burning hearts to do this together. So how will this look? 
Well, the style of prayer and worship we will be using will be mainly harp and bowl. If you're familiar with uh, Kansas City IHOP, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, it's a simple concept that's drawn from Revelation 5.8. The harp representing the musical aspect, and then the bowl representing the prayers of the saints being poured out before the Lord. And so I also want to say that we're going to be doing one new thing, and it is going to be worship and dance. And in our culture, in the American culture, dance has become something more secular in nature. But the enemy can only counterfeit what the Lord has established. And dance is something that we're wanting to redeem back to its biblical roots of praise, celebration, and pure expression of worship. And there is power and influence in expression. If you don't believe me, just look at Hollywood, look at the music industry, look at Broadway. Carnal worldly views are expressed in a way that they draw on your heart. They make you laugh. They make you cry. They, they bring up all kinds of emotions. They make you aware of certain ideologies. Um, and they're mainly world ideologies that may sound good at the time, but the thing is, is if they're not lined up with scripture, they can be dangerous. And so our dream is to stir hearts to love that love to dance and inspire them and the church as a whole to see dance differently and to use dance to glorify God. And so we're going to include this dance with uh, the furnace during that time once a month. And so um, there will be worship. So if you aren't a dancer and you don't want to dance, you can still come and worship with us because there will be a worship set. So plan on joining us Wednesday, September 13th at 5 p.m. And let's grow together in our relationship with our Father through worship, prayer, and dance. Love you guys.